I am Alexis May. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm a licensed professional hairstylist. I'm a mom and I love all things beauty. So in this video, you guys are going to see my honest opinion about the Dyson blow dryer. Because if you didn't know, Dyson made a blow dryer. We already know that they have really incredible technology when it comes to um, vacuum cleaners and that type of stuff. And they decided to tap into the hair care market. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram so that we can stay connected. So about a month ago, I decided that I was going to look into the Dyson blow dryer because I've heard all these amazing things about it and I had to try it out for myself because I love new, new technology. I love having all the new fun stuff. So um, today we're going to be talking about the Dyson blow dryer. Now make sure that you understand if you are a licensed hairstylist, there is the regular blow dryer and then there is the professional for hairstylist blow dryer edition. So this has some really great perks that kind of set it aside from the regular blow dryer as well as this is the second one that they have kind of designed so they built the first one and then they redesigned it um, kind of with I guess the feedback from hairstylists so this is the new and improved version of the Dyson blow dryer so I guess Dyson 2.0 um, and I'm gonna go over you guys what it comes with the specs um, some of the interesting things and then what I think this blow dryer, would I recommend it? Would I not? Because you guys, this is like a $450 retail price dryer. That price tag is huge. So should you buy it? Should you not? Well, keep watching and see my opinion. All right, so this is a little blow dryer. Just wanna show you guys, it comes in silver. Um, it has three detachable nozzles that I got with my dryer. This is what it looks like without it. And this blow dryer has some really cool features, okay? So, by the way, I have my ride or die blow dryer that I've been using forever and I love it and I compare all other blow dryers to it. I get so many blow dryers sent to me, you guys, that I try out and I just don't love. So nothing has stacked up to the one that I have been loving. So the Dyson had its job cut out for it. But in the very beginning, I don't know if you guys can see, but this cord is very, very long. It has an 11 foot cord, which means that I could be doing hair in my chair and then I could go into the chair next to me and blow dry and I would have enough cord length. So for me, that is a huge bonus. I'm gonna show you guys the end of the cord. So this is what the end of the cord looks like. It's super easy. The only difference on this cord than other blow dryers is they have this kind of little pack right here. I still have the warning labels on my cord. Oh well. But it has this kind of little pack right here. To be able to make the blow dryer lighter, they were able to put it down in the cord. So it's not very far from where you plug it in. So this does not get in your way, especially since there's an 11 foot cord. I was kind of nervous with that at first, but I noticed that it doesn't get in my way. So when it comes to the actual design of the blow dryer, you guys can see it's very small. Let me show you next to um, my Elsham that I have here that I blow dry my hair at home with. So you guys can see the comparison is very, very small. This is very lightweight. I love that. If you notice, it has a little hole in the middle. There's no fan in this. So whenever you turn it on, the air actually kind of flows out of these little open slots right here and it goes through. And where it gets sucked in through is right here. So that's where the filter is going to be. So you pop this off and that's where the actual filter is. And it does come with a little cleaner that you can clean this all off with, which is nice. I haven't had to clean it yet, but it looks like I got a little bit of fuzzy stuff on here. And it has a magnetic little filter cover. So it's really easy to put on and off and it does come with a second one for you in the actual kit So you get your blow dryer you get two filters and then it also comes with like I said the three nozzles So right here I have nozzle one and this is more of a smoothing nozzle It's got a little bit wider of the nozzle head and I really really like this one um, For power blow drying and also for smoothing out here. I love this nozzle and then to do some more smoothing out and you need more um, of concentration they have the second nozzle which is really nice because it is a skinnier design I'll show you guys in comparison than the smoothing nozzle and it's a little bit wider so it does reach a little bit farther on your brush and you can really get the hair exactly where you need to so if you need to smooth out people's hair that have a little bit more frizzy hair this is a great nozzle attachment and then it comes with the diffuser now I don't know if you guys have are someone who uses a diffuser a lot but I love diffusing my hair whenever I have my wavy hair I love to diffuse it curly hair clients all of that 
This diffuser is the best diffuser I have ever tried in my entire life. Okay, so I haven't said what I feel about this blow dryer yet, but this diffuser is goals. The way that they designed the inside of this to have the air come out is so soft. It creates such an incredible dry to your hair without frizz. It is amazing. And all of these are connected via magnet, get magnetic. So when you pop it on, I literally just pop it off and on like that. It's really easy to use. And from the first blow dryer, they decided to make the magnets two times stronger. So it does take a little bit of force to get this off. It's not going to just pop off the blow dryer, which is really nice. On the back here, you're going to have a cool shot button, which is really nice that you have the ease of just hitting that and it turns your air to cool. This is your off and on switch. And then you have two buttons up here. One is for the speed setting of the actual airflow and the other one is the temperature setting. So you have three different ways that you can blow dry the hair and three different temperatures. So you have complete control over how you are drying people's hair. So let's talk about the power and the cool um, design features behind this. So I just brought up Dyson's website um, that I will link down below in the description box for you guys. So you can hop over and check it out. But a few things to note on this is that this has intelligent heat control. So every 20 seconds, it is checking the temperature to prevent extreme, extreme heat damage. So if you're someone that has really thick hair or very damaged hair, um, the hair that it's a little bit more, you know, you need to be more gentle with, this is going to be an incredible blow dryer for that hair. It also has an extremely powerful motor, um, but it is tuned to produce one audio, an audible frequency. Like it's so low. I can actually talk to my clients when I'm blow drying with this, which I will turn it on in just a second for you guys. But I love, love, love the sound of this blow dryer. Does that sound weird? It's different. Let me show you. Okay. So here's the sound of the Dyson dryer. And to compare, here's the sound of the Elsham dryer. So a very different sound and this is just so low key, it's awesome. Like I said, it has the two times magnetized holding so you're able to hold your nozzles on better. It also has a 360 so you can turn your nozzle look wherever you need to. And I like that it came with this little guy right here. This is a little mat that you can place on your station or wherever you're working so that it does not slide off. You can put your tools on there. It comes with your three nozzles, which I love that it comes with all of that stuff as a professional stylist. Um, and they have redesigned the concentrator from the old one to the new one. And what's really cool about this is that it has cool grips. So on your nozzles, my other nozzle is down there, but when you touch the nozzle, it's actually not that hot. So you know when you're like playing hot potato with your other nozzles and you're like throwing your blow dryer across the room because it's so hot? These nozzles do not do that. I think that's awesome. I mean, how easy is that? Awesome. So let's talk about how I feel about using it in the salon on my clients. So first of all, I had my assistant blow half of my client's hair who has a ton of hair dry and I blew the other half. She used my blow dryer that I have, have been using and I used the Dyson dryer and the Dyson dryer blew dry it so much quicker and less frizzy. It is really neat to be able to do comparisons like that because it really shows the difference in the technology and the ions that are built in and just what they decided to do with the Dyson. I was really impressed by that because I have never um, kind of swayed away from my traditional dryer. So the fact that the Dyson was able to get in there, dry it faster, and um, all the other things included in with it is just so great. And there's so much less frizz. It's weird. When I blow dry people's hair, there's just way less frizz in the hair that I'm having to kind of battle against. Um, the power of it is great. Great. I love the power behind this little tiny blow dryer. I think also the cool thing with this dryer is that um, it is so small so it takes up less space. I am able to put it in my um, my dryer little holder on my on my station whatever the, th the heck that thing is called. So um, in my opinion I am head over heels for this blow dryer. Now, the price tag on this is very expensive. It is a $450 blow dryer. Um, yeah, scary, a little bit pricey, but we know as hairstylists, our tools can tend to cost a couple hundred dollars when you are getting um, the more high-end tools. Do you need this tool? No, but do you need a blow dryer? Yes. 
so for me I like to have the best of the best not only for my clients and their hair but also for me I like things that are lightweight I like things that are going to be very efficient so for me spending a couple hundred dollars on a blow dryer is a must um, and this one if you are licensed you are able to get a hundred dollars off um, for being a professional and then also at certain hair shows um, Dyson likes to give out an even bigger discount so I was actually able to get um, about $200 off of my blow dryer when I purchased it and I got it shipped to me really fast um, the company automatically does a warranty which I think is great so I think in my opinion if you are a at home person wanting to blow dry your hair I feel like this is going to be good for those who have a lot of damage or have a lot of hair um, you don't necessarily need this blow dryer um, if you are just blow drying your hair at home unless you want to have more of that luxurious item or you have the damaged or thick hair as a professional stylist I have so many of you guys wanting to know about this and I 100% think this is worth the investment first of all it's a write-off so that's a no-brainer second of all it's going to create your styling even faster even better and it's less weight on your wrist which we know we have to take care of our bodies because our bodies can get broken down behind the chair so in my opinion I would a hundred percent invest in this I did invest in this myself I spent my money on it I did not get this sent to me even if I did I'm gonna give you guys my opinion um, so for me the Dyson blow dryer is my new baby it is literally I get so excited when I pull it out my clients are like "Ooh, what is that like it is a total conversation piece and a piece that I am very happy that I invested in and that I will recommend to everyone now so I hope that you guys have enjoyed this review on the Dyson blow dryer. Um, again, if you guys have your own opinions and thoughts, let me know in the comments down below. I know that most of the people that I talk to love this. Some people don't. It's totally up to you. Um, but for me, I know that me and a lot of other people that I am friends with and that do hair say that this is the best blow dryer on the market. And I have to say I agree with them. Like this gets like an A++++. Like, thank you guys so much for watching this review. I hope you guys learned something and I will see you guys in one of my next videos. Bye! Bye.